can you make a little introduction to resume the sense of your experience of living without money? I came to Dortmund. It's a, a very a big city with a, a lot of poor people. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very shocked by the poorness. And um, I think uh, the whole time in my life I tried to think about the poorness and the rich, the, the poor and the rich people. This is my theme in, um, in my life. And I wanted to do something and so I founded um, one of the first uh, exchange groups in Germany and I called it the Gib und Nimm, the Give and Receive um, mm -hmm. uh, group. Um, yes, and I worked uh, two years for this group and then uh, I, decide, I noticed that I needed less and less money. And so I, I thought, hmm, I could uh, try to live for one year without money because I always wanted to live without money once, but uh, mm -hmm. it never was, I wasn't able to do it. But with this exchange group in my bag, there it was, it was uh, uh, possible. And I began to do it uh, because people asked me if I wanted to look after their houses when they were in holidays. And so I had uh, 10 or 12 houses. <laughs> And I, I thought, oh, if I have so many different habitations, I must, uh, I don't need an, an own one. And so I let my habitation go. I give, I gave away all the things I had. And uh, yes, and I wanted to do my experiment for only one year. And now, this, these are 16 years. And you said you left everything you had, and how it was at first leaving all these things? It was uh, such a lightness. I was so yeah. happy, and I thought, <laughs> oh, now I am uh, without things, and I must not uh, look here and look there. There is nothing to look. <laughs> I felt, uh, I felt good, free, free, really free, and because I think. Uh, sometimes things has a, have a um, effective uh, value, um, like things you had in, in your childhood or or something like this. You uh, didn't feel like no, I don't. Okay. Even my children, I love them, but they can do their things. <laughs> and I uh, had photos, and the photos I gave to my children. But all the other things, I I, I lived in a house where uh, there were a lot of young people, and they needed a lot for their own habitation. And they were so happy to get a bed and a table. And mm -hmm. uh, but the main work. I'm doing is to get clear in me, in my mm -hmm. soul, my soul, um, because uh, every every person in the world is mm -hmm. um, a, a hurt child, um, and mm -hmm. we have we have uh, this. No, I can say illness in us, mm -hmm. and to to look which uh, things we have. Uh, and then to say, uh, I will try to get rid of this. And it's, it's a long, long, long work. And I am a psychotherapist, but uh, I had to work, boah. <laughs> yes, much, much, much things. And I think they bec it becomes better and better. And so I feel freer and freer. And it's not in, in the outside, to work in the outside and to um, get things around me. I, I think that that uh, doesn't make any th sense for me. You know? But to look mm, what uh, is with my soul and what is with my heart and why, why 
am I angry about a person? Why is this at all? And in this period, uh, 16 years, have you found uh, other people uh, that had the same mm, need, the same feeling uh, of you about living without all these things? Yes, there are some people and they are famous. <laughs> there is one man in, in England and one in America and I have contact with them and um, they have a different um, ways. Mm -hmm. uh, my way is uh, special because I think it's the feminine, the feminine way to to make a lot of contact and all the things is for me important. And uh, the other people are men, mm -hmm. most uh, are men, and they have uh, different thinking. They want to be free, not dependent of anyone. And mm -hmm. they, one live in a, in a wood and another lives uh, in a small, small uh, chamber. and. Things it's more like, like yeah, about relationships. It's very important for for the West world to, mm -hmm. to look about relationships, what we are doing, why there are wars in the world. Talking about nowadays, and for young people, uh, there is a very uncertain future because uh, less job and very uh, sometimes underpaid jobs and in which way your experience can give them trust or hope about the future? The future will be different I think and uh, if we have uh, different values then the work is not so important now I, I, I can't say how it would be but but I think the future, I, I think I live the future. <laughs> I live the future because um, other things are important and not what now is important, but other things will be important and for the young people too. And uh, I can't say what it is, but I feel that, that uh, there will change a lot. <laughs>